What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. Sunrays sent me over their 2000 watt LED grow light, and in this video I'm going to unbox the unit, and I'm also going to test the power output. First thing out the box is this welcome guide, it has some various instructions on the inside. It has the extended warranty card, and a little note there. A 5 foot power cord. One rope ratchet hanger and one wire hanging kit. I'm not gonna go over all of the grow lights features in this video, but I will leave a link to this grow light in the description section below so you can learn more. For the PAR test, I'm gonna use the Apogee MQ500 PAR meter. This meter measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, plus or minus five nanometers, and the measurements are in PPFD. And really, this is just to give you a general idea of what the power output is for this grow light. This test isn't meant to be 100% accurate, the reflective walls could increase the numbers, so just keep that in mind. In the Amazon listing, Sunrays mentions a 4 foot by 4 foot flowering coverage area with the light 24 inches away from the top of the plants. In this video, I'll take three different measurements, 20 inches away, 24 inches away, and 36 inches away. And this is in a 4 foot by 4 foot grow tent. With the veg switch on, it pulls 224 watts. With the flower switch on, it pulls 202 watts. And with both the veg and flower switches on, it pulls 406 watts. All right, let's get into the measurements.
What do you think of these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and click the bell to be notified when I release a new video. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up, and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.